Hi, this is the homework for lesson one, and this is module four of grade three. Please write your name first. Uh, Magnus covers the same shape with triangles, rhombuses, and trapezoids. So this is his shape here, this parallelogram. And we're trying to see how many triangles it will take and then later on we'll look at how many rhombuses it'll take and then later on we'll have to try to cover it with trapezoids so for the triangles let's see a base of a triangle is about sides about that long so about here um, is another one and then another one might go like that And then down here, if they're about this wide, right, and then about like that, and then this will go down to that corner, and now we just count the triangles. Right, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 triangles. Now, how many rhombuses will it take to cover the shape? This one's going to be a little bit easier. Just do this. Then we can count the rhombuses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you'll notice it's, it takes two triangles to make a rhombus, so it will take half as many rhombuses. And then finally Magnus notices that three triangles from part A cover one trapezoid. So you can see the part that he means. It's the this part that's shaded in right here. That's a trapezoid. So he notices that that makes a trapezoid. How many trapezoids will you need to cover the shape below? So if we look at this, he had, I'm going to have to zoom out for this. So we're looking at this shape, and was it right about here or so? Uh, uh, uh. So here's a trapezoid here, and there's another one here. And then down here, there's another one here and another one there. So it's going to take four trapezoids. And how do you explain your answer? There's the picture right there, if you can draw it. But... You could also just write a sentence that says... For every three triangles, you get one, one trapezoid. And then just write this repeated addition sentence, right? Because it would be three here, three here, three here, three here. So four threes. All right, let me shift this over so you can see it. Angela uses squares to find the area of a rectangle. Her work is shown below. How many squares did she use to cover the rectangle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can just count them, 12 squares. And then what is the rectang area of the rectangle in square units? Explain how you found your answer. So,
the area is 12 square units. And you could look at this as four rows of three. Or you just say that you counted them. There are four rows of three squares. So four times three equals 12. And here we say each square is the square unit, is one square unit. That's what it says here. Which rectangle has the largest area? And how do you know? Okay, so rectangle A is one, two, three, four, five, six. Three rows of six. Which is... 3 times 6 equals 18. Rectangle B is 4 rows of 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. And rectangle C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Rectangle C is 1 row of 10. A has the most squares. And this is how you know. This is your explanation right here.